Hi kids and adults, it's Pastor Corey and I'm here to talk to you about Lent and Ash Wednesday. The season of Lent. It's spelled L-E-N-T and it starts with Ash Wednesday. It's, it's a special day or a holiday where we remember that that we, we have a gift of life and our life is from God and that one day our lives are going to end and we need God to take care of our lives. And so how we remember that is we actually take palm branches from last year's Palm Sunday service. Maybe you remember that service. We, we give out palms to people and they wave them in the air and we, we, we remember that Jesus came into Jerusalem and that they waved palm branches and they put coats down on the road and welcomed him as a king. They shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna! And they welcomed him as a king. And so we save those palm branches and then they're a sign of life, but they dry out and they get brittle. Maybe you can hear them. And then we actually burn these formerly living things. We burn them in a, a, a bucket outside the church. The, the middle schoolers and the high schoolers get to do that. And they, they burn down to ashes. And then we crush the ashes for Ash Wednesday. And so these, these palm branches that, that once symbolized celebration and life, they, they turn into ashes. And we put the ashes on the foreheads of people uh, on Ash Wednesday, who come to remember that life is a gift and we need God to help us live. And without God, we, we don't have hope. So we put the ashes on there to, to remember that we came from the ash or from the dust and to ashes we will return at the end of our life. But there's an important thing we need to remember. We have God on our side and so he can give us life uh, even out of the ashes. So that's just a little bit about Ash Wednesday. And I want to read to you from this book called Make Room, A Child's Guide to Lent and Easter, about the, the season of Lent. And I, I think the pictures will be on the screen. This is the season of Lent. The church is dressed in purple. The world outside has its own seasons and its own colors. These days, we are in the gray time between winter and spring. Some mornings, the, po the puddles are frozen hard, and the bare branches of trees scrape a snow-white sky. Other days, the air is warmer, ice is melting, and the air smells faintly of damp earth and rotting leaves. Under the ground, the seeds and bulbs are sleeping, dreaming in shades of green. We are all waiting for spring. In church, we are waiting too, waiting for Resurrection Sunday. While we wait, we get ready. Making time. Long ago, Jesus went out alone into the desert to get ready. Deep inside, he felt that God had important work for him to do, but he needed help to see clearly the way ahead. For 40 days and 40 nights, he was in the desert by himself, wondering, talking with God, listening, making choices. I wonder why Jesus went into the desert. Maybe it was quiet and still. Maybe Jesus thought he could hear God better there. Maybe he needed to make time to listen so he would know which way to go. During Lent, we make time to be with God. Every day we talk with God in different ways. Sometimes we pray with words. Sometimes we sing or listen to music. Sometimes we get out our paints and crayons and create many colored prayers. Colors are like different languages we can all speak, even when we have no words. God understands. At other times, we make silence. We turn off the television and the music and stop talking for a while. Then we practice listening. Sometimes we read stories from the Bible and we wonder about what God might be telling us. Sometimes we just sit and rest in the quiet. 
During Lent, we pay attention to how we live. We think about the choices we make every day. We ask hard questions. Does what we say and do make the world a better place or not? Does how we live make God happy or sad? Is there anything we need to change? Lent lasts 40 days and 40 nights, plus six Sundays. We count the days by snuffing out purple candles. You could do that at home, maybe. One for each week. 40 days is a long time, but it takes time to get ready. Making time, that's part of Lent. So I encourage you in your home to find ways to, to make special time, times of quiet or times of reflection or drawing or praying or reading together and think about uh, what God is doing in your family and is what you're doing making God happy or sad? It's a time to think about those things. So next week we'll learn more about the season of Lent.